Hello and a very warm welcome to all our viewers. My name is Lara and we're here at the Maidan Hotel for the fourth edition of Arab Fashion Week. Joining me today is a very, very special guest, none other than Lana Talastan. Hello and a very warm welcome to you. How are you doing, Lana? I'm good. How are you, Lara? It's nice to see you again in the fourth edition of the Arab Fashion Week. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to have you with us on today's show. Thank you so much. Thank you, my dear. Lana, we're going to start off by asking you to tell us a little bit more about who Lana is. Well, what is it that you're involved in? What are the different business activities that you're involved in here in the region? Um, I'm a businesswoman. I'm involved in uh, interior design as well as um, I do a lot of events. I'm an event organizer with the government uh, and individually as well. Uh, I'm a PR consultant for a few companies here in Dubai. So uh, it's very nice to be in the Arab Fashion Week. It's something, you know, uh, something very big, something very different, especially in Dubai. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more with you. Lana, you've been with us since the first edition of Arab Fashion Week. How would you say it's evolved over the last few editions? Actually, I was uh, from the beginning and uh, it's growing more and more. Uh, just noticing the difference between the first edition from the Arab Fashion Week and now, it's a completely big difference. We started with maybe a, a smaller number of designers, uh, beginners, let's say. Now we are reaching uh, the most famous uh, fashion designers in the world. They are getting more and more involved with the Arab Fashion Week. And this is something very nice in Dubai. Now, Lana, you've seen a lot of celebrities attend Arab Fashion Week from different parts of the world. Um, who would you say comes to Arab Fashion Week? Who is it that actually attends this beautiful event here in Dubai? Actually, Arab Fashion Week is not only for fashion designers. A lot of people are coming from outside, uh, big fashion designers, big uh, fashion collectors, uh, buyers, celebrities as well. Some of the celebrities are very uh, uh, into uh, fashion and they have uh, a lot of time to spend uh, through the fashion weeks everywhere all around the world. So I can see a lot of people traveling from outside to attend uh, in Dubai. And for every edition, people are different. We are getting more and more people fly, flying from every part in the world, which is very good, of course. Absolutely. Um, what does fashion mean to Lana? Actually, with all this pressure I have in my life in business as an interior designer, uh, event planner, businesswoman, still if I can find some time uh, during my day, I would love to be a fashion designer. I'm obsessed with fashion and I, uh, I love to be uh, into the fashion, but um, hopefully, maybe one day. But for now, uh, I spend a lot of time just, you know, like uh, searching, looking, uh, being, trying to attend uh, a lot of fashion uh, designers, fashion weeks, fashion events. So I'm trying my best. Well, your dress says it all. Uh, you're wearing an absolutely stunning dress. Who is this by? Thank you. She is a very uh, elegant uh, Pakistani uh, fashion designer. Her name is Mary. And uh, she did something special. I just changed the color and she did this one for me. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Lara. Lana, last but not least, what message do you have for the viewers that are watching us regarding Arab Fashion Week? What would you say to them? Uh, actually, I would like to ask you all not to miss any of the days for the Arab Fashion Week. Uh, fashion designers this year are really very, very different than all the years. So we'd like to see you all here with us. Thank you. Lana Talastan, we'd like to thank you for spending some time with us on today's show and wishing you continued growth and success. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.